Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. So in this result, we have one set X, okay, and uh, two matrix D and D star defined on same set X. They are given F is a collection of all D open sets and F star is a collection of all D star open sets. They have given a very important information here, okay. So for each open set J is in F, let me write here, let me show in this diagram. So if you have any, suppose this is G which is D open set, then for any X belongs to G, any X belongs to G, definitely we can find one D star open ball. Okay, so we can find one D star open ball around that point X such that that ball is subset of G. And the second information is if you have any D star open set. Okay, so let me show it by G star. This is a D star open set. And if you have any point X star, belongs to G star, then definitely we can find one D open ball getting, we can find one D open ball DX star R, which is subset of G star. So this is the important information is given to us, right? What we have to prove, we have to prove that D and D star are equivalent matrix. So the same thing I have written, we have to prove this one, this is our target. So you know the definition of equivalent matrix when we say two matrix are equivalent. If family of D open sets is equal to family of D star open sets, then we say if both families are same, then we say two matrix are equivalent. That means in a simple language, we have to simply prove F is equal to F star. Let me mention here, that is to prove that F is equal to F star. So now the question is how to prove two sets are equal. Technique is very simple. First we prove first set is subset of second and then we prove second set is subset of first. So now, now my first target is to prove F is subset of F star. So let us take one arbitrary element from F. Let G belongs to F. Actually, F is a family of D open set. So then we, uh, when we select any element from F, obviously it is a D open set. So G is a set which is D open and which is member of F. So let me mention here implies G is D open set. Okay, so it's D open open set. D open set that means it is open set in matrix space XD and D star open set means it's a set which is open in matrix space XD star, right? Let us go further. So yes, these two important informations we have. So let us use the first information. First information says open set G in F. Same thing we have G is in F. Then the given, uh, information says then for any X belongs to G. Definitely we can find one D star open ball with center at X, which is subset of G. So let us, let me write the from first information. So from one, what can we write from one? See, we get B star X. Okay. I'm writing the same thing. X R star subset of G, right? And this is true for every R r star greater than okay so i should write this is true for every x belongs to g this is true for every x belongs to g actually that radius depends on that point x getting now so that's why i'm writing r x i'm writing uh see here and r x star is greater than zero radius is greater than zero i'm writing r x because radius depends on point x that's why only okay so this thing we have as you can see here, this is true for every X. Okay, this is true for every X. That means, uh, let me show in the diagram. Okay. Okay, see, that means, suppose this is set G. This is set G we have, right? So if you select any point X, definitely we can find D star open ball around X, which is subset of G. If you take any point here, okay, so there also, uh, we can find one D star open ball, which is subset of D. That means for each point, it is possible to find open ball, okay, around that point, which is subset of G. So therefore, we can write G is a union of all such open balls. So let me write here, okay. Yes, we have some space. So let us use. So therefore, therefore, G is union of such open balls. So B, B star X, R, X, star where x belongs to g 
since it is true for every point of G. So that's why G can be expressed as a union of all such open balls. Do you know every open ball is an open set? So therefore, what can we write here? Here, let me mention B star X or X star is D star open set. Okay. So the reason is every open ball is an open set. So it's a D star open ball. So that's why it's a D star open set. Get it? So I'm not mentioning reason there. Hmm. As well as we are familiar with one result that is arbitrary union of open set is open. So here we are doing the same. We are taking arbitrary union. So that's why it is an again open set. So let me mention here implies union of X belongs to G. B star X R X star is D star open set. Okay, the reason is arbitrary union of open set. It's open. Getting? See, but this union is nothing but G. So what can we write? So implies G is this is nothing but G is what is the next sentence? D star open set. Okay. So that means we get G is a D star open set, but we know that F star is a family of D star open set, right? So therefore, what can we write implies G belongs to F star since F star is a family of D open sets and G is also D star. Sorry, D star open set and G is also D star open set. Therefore, G belongs to F star. You remember we started with G belongs to F and finally what we got G belongs to F star. Therefore, the first set is subset of second. So let me mention here. So therefore, therefore. F is subset of F star. The very important thing we have proved here. F is subset of F star. Now our target is to prove that F star is subset of A. Okay, we will follow the same procedure to prove it. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. So now to prove that F star is subset of F. So let us take one arbitrary element from F star. Let G star belongs to F star. See, we know that F star is a family of D star open set and G star belongs to F star. So that's why D star is also D star open set. So implies G star is D star open set. Okay. So the very important information we have in statement number two. Okay. So let us use it here. G star in F, same thing we have G star in F star actually open set G star in F star should be there. Okay. So G star in F star we have. So let us use the second information. So what can we write from two? Okay. So from two we will have, okay, we will have that thing open ball B X star R subset of G star and it is true for every X star belongs to G star getting for this is true for every X star belongs to G star. Actually that radius depends on that point. So that's why I should write here R X star, which is a suffix of this R. Okay. So and R X star, which is greater than zero. Getting simply, I use the second information and I got this one. So what it means? Okay. Let me show you here in this diagram. So we have a, this set X with two matrix X uh, D and D star, right? So we are talking about uh, G star, which is D star open set. So this is our G star, which is D star open set. And this information says, if you have any point X star here, if you have any point X star, definitely we can find one D open ball. Okay. D open ball, which is subset of D star. This is this thing we have. But the important thing is it is true for every X star belongs to G star. If you have X star here, then also it is possible to find ball around it. If you have X star here, then also it is possible to find ball around it. So it is true for every X star. So that's why simply we can say, so therefore we can say G star is union of all such open balls. Okay. So B X star R X star and X star belongs to G star. Okay. So this thing we have, but see B. It's basically D open ball getting so it's you know that every open ball is an open set. So that's why we can say it's D open set. Let me mention it here. We have some space. So here, here, let me write here B X star R X star is D open set. 
ओके सो दे हैव क्लियरली मैंशन इट इज अ डी ओपन सेट बॉल एक्चुअली बट एवरी बॉल इज एन ओपन सेट सो दैट्स इट्स अ डी ओपन सेट गेट इंग ओके सो द रीजन शुड यू राइट हियर यू कैन राइट देअर सो दैट एवरी ओपन बॉल इज एन ओपन सेट सेकंड थिंग इज अर्बिडर यूनियन ऑफ ओपन सेट इज ओपन गेटिंग सो हियर वी हैव अर्बिडर यूनियन ऑफ ओपन सेट सो दैट्स वाई देअर यूनियन इज ऑल्सो ओपन सो एंड इम्प्लाइज वी कैन राइट यूनियन ऑफ बी एक्स स्टार आर एक्स स्टार एंड यस फॉर ऑल एक्स स्टार बिलोंग्स टू जी स्टार इज डी ओपन सेट सो रीजन वी सपोज टू राइट देअर arbitrary union of open set is open so that's why we get this but see union is nothing but g star so simply we can replace it by g star since both of them are equal so g star is d open set right since both of them are equal so simply i replace this union by g star but g star is d open set that means it should be in a family f getting so therefore implies g star is d open set so it belongs to f Since F denotes the family of D open sets, and it is one of it, so that's why it should be in F. Basically, that set we have taken from F star, and we are proving it is in F, so that's why we can conclude F star is subset of F. So therefore, therefore, F star is subset of F. You remember already we have proved F is subset of F star. Now we are saying F star is subset of F. That's why both of them are equal. so therefore therefore what we say f is equal to f star so that means family of d open sets is equal to family of d star open set and this is nothing but definition of equivalent matrix therefore we can declare d and d star are equivalent matrix okay so in this way we have proved this result make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye